And then it's up to you. You can either knot it after each button. Actually, I'm gonna knot it after this button on the inside, but then I'm gonna continue weaving along. But just by tying that knot, that just means just in case one button comes loose, not all of them are gonna come loose, even though I can still use the same piece of thread. So to knot it, I'm just gonna come and make a short stitch in the yarn with my needle. I usually just put my thumb right under, or run, right over my needle as I pull it through so that I can keep that loop there. And then I'm gonna remove my thumb and just insert the needle through this loop twice to make a knot. And now I can go ahead and weave up the length. And I'm actually gonna kinda go in this pink section just cause my thread matches that better and I don't want it to show through on the front side, but you can see that button's on there pretty good. For more great ideas from Craftsy.com, click the link.